So you've got a new semi-automatic espresso machine and you want to quickly and easily make excellent espresso with barista quality results. You know, those luscious crema rich shots, delicious on their own or ready for use in a cafe quality latte, cappuccino, Americano and much more. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today I'll cover the simple things you need to know to easily get outstanding results right away. A basic recipe for success that'll have you making excellent espresso in minutes. Now, if you're new to making espresso, it can seem overwhelming at first, but it's really quite simple. All you have to do is start with a good whole bean coffee, get your grind size right, and be consistent. Coming up, I'll have a couple of suggestions for whole bean coffee. It's got two crowd favorites with better than 4.5 out of 5 star ratings. Both are incredibly easy to work with and go for under $10 a pound. After that, my can't miss recipe. I'll detail how much coffee to use, which filter basket to use, the simple technique for leveling and tamping the coffee in your filter basket, what brew temperature to use, and when to stop your espresso extraction. But let's start with grind size. Assuming you've got a good whole bean coffee, it's the most important part of making a good espresso. So I'm gonna repeat that. Grind size is the most important part of making a good espresso. As Judge Reinhold says in my favorite movie from the year I graduated high school, learn it, know it, live it. Now, bonus points if you can name that movie. Yes, espresso is all about the grind size. So what grind size should you use? I really wish I could say if you have a particular make or model grinder, you should use a certain grind setting, but that's not how it works. How you do determine the right grind setting is through some simple trial and error. It's a process called dialing in. It's really very simple. As a starting point, set your grinder to produce a grind size. It's very fine. You're looking for a consistency somewhere between table salt and granulated sugar. Load your porta filter with that, then you pull a shot and time how long it takes. Your goal is to make your espresso in 20 to 30 seconds from the first drip of espresso from the spouts. And it's the grind size which controls that timing. So if your timing is under 20 seconds, adjust your grind a little finer to slow it down. If it's over 30 seconds, adjust the grind a little coarser to speed it up. And that's really all there is to it. Simple, right? Now, it's not unusual to go through three to five extractions to get dialed in. But as you get to know your grinder, future adjustments, they're going to become much easier. Now, we'll get back to grinding when we pull some shots in a moment. But before that, let's cover consistency. It's another key concept when making espresso. We want consistent temperatures, consistent amount of ground coffee in the filter basket, and consistent compression of the ground coffee in the filter basket. For a consistent temperature, make sure your machine is fully warmed up before use, and you want your porta filter warm too. So when not in use, always keep your porta filter in the group head so it gets heated. Expect a minimum of 10 minutes for a full warm up of smaller single boiler machines and up to 30 minutes for larger dual boiler machines. Be aware your machine will indicate the boiler is up to temperature prior to other components like the group head and porta filter fully warming from passive heating. For a consistent dose of ground coffee, a couple of options. Most accurate is to weigh the dose. If using weight, try to be within one half gram for each extraction. If you don't have a scale, no problem. You can get close enough by slightly overfilling a filter basket and gently leveling with a finger. For consistent compression of ground coffee, you also have some options. You can use a leveler or a tamper. Now, if your machine came with one of these lightweight plastic tampers, do yourself a favor, chuck it in a drawer and get a metal one with some weight to it. Personally, about a year ago, I started using a leveler. They create an even distribution of coffee. Make sure it's perfectly parallel to the top edge, which is important so brew water travels evenly through the coffee. And models like the Jack Leveler I'm using handle compressing the coffee so you don't have to tamp if you don't want to. If tamping, the old recommendation was to use 30 pounds of force. Don't worry so much about that. Save your strength and just be relatively firm. Far more important is making the tamp flat and level and using a similar force each time you tamp. And that's why I prefer the consistency of levelers. You get a consistent compression that's flat and level every time. So here's my recipe for success. First, the coffee. Give Maromas Orfea and Lavazza Super Crema a try. These two Italian style bean blends are easy to work with, get excellent reviews and pump out the crema. 
They are inexpensive and feature classic Italian espresso flavor. I want you to use a double shot, non-pressurized filter basket. Why a double shot? Well, they are much more forgiving. It's difficult to get consistent results when pulling single shots. For coffee dose, use about 17 grams. Now, that's not a hard number, but it's about the weight most stock double shot baskets hold when loosely filled and leveled off without compressing the coffee. So if you don't have a scale, not a problem, just fill and level without packing. For brew temp, the coffees I'm recommending do best at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 93 Celsius. If using a machine with PID temperature control, just set it there. If using a non-PID machine with no temperature display, like most single boiler and some heat exchange boiler machines, you can get in the brew temp zone using a quick flush prior to brewing. Just let the brew water run a few seconds until the flow is smooth without excessive steam or bubbling, which indicates temperatures above the boiling point. For liquid volume, your goal is to produce two ounces or 60 milliliters in your cup. When measuring liquid volume, include that bubbly crema layer in your measurement. If your grind size is right, you'll get that amount in 20 to 30 seconds from the first strip of espresso from the portafilter spouts. So let's make some espresso. I'm using a Chiato E5P. It's an on-demand grinder. So I just push in with my portafilter and it grinds. Now, you can use a scale, but I'll keep it simple here and just overfill slightly and gently level with my finger without compressing the coffee. With most stock double baskets filling like this will get you about 17 grams. I set my grind size to what looks about right. Again, that's something between table salt and granulated sugar. After lightly swiping with a finger, I'll use my leveler. Just set it in and spin clockwise to distribute compress and level the coffee. If using a tamper, set it on the coffee and push down with firm and even pressure. You want the coffee surface to be at equal depth. After tamping, you can give the tamper a spin or two to polish the surface. If using a non-PID machine, do a short flush looking for that smooth water flow from the group before attaching the portafilter. On PID machines, just attach and start brewing. Start timing the extraction at the first drip from the portafilter spouts. Again, we're shooting to produce two ounces, including any crema, in 20 to 30 seconds. My first shot here came a little too fast, so I adjust my grind size a little finer and try again. This shot is too slow, with timing going over 30 seconds before reaching two ounces. So back to my grinder and I'll split the difference in grind size adjustment going halfway back to my original setting. Start the extraction. And start my timer at first drip. This shot is the one. I get the two ounces in the 20 to 30 second range. Now, do know timing is the most basic way of dialing into a good shot, but if you're in that time zone, you will get reasonable results with the coffees I've recommended. So, very simple really for a beginner to make a good espresso. Just remember to start with a good coffee. Be consistent and it's the grind size that's most important. And a tip with that, Grind size is not set and forget. You will need to adjust grind size if you use a different coffee, if you change your coffee dose weight, or even as beans age. Now, down there in the description, I put links to more instructional videos like this, including milk frothing for beginners, how to do latte art, and one that takes you start to finish through making a flat white. That's one of my favorite drinks, and it's gonna be done on my favorite entry level and choice for best value machine, the Gaja Classic Pro. If you have any questions, use the comments and I'll get you some answers. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.